<laughs> Listen, I gotta go. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm on this video. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, hey, hey. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Ooh, let the church, I might make you, Tommy, say amen. Let the church say amen. God is spoken. So let the church say amen. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, people. I wanted to kill some time. Y'all know how we do it over here. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. So welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I'm giving you a belated shout out, Tommy. I tried to call you on your birthday, but I don't know if you got my message or not, but happy belated birthday to you. That's my brother, y'all, from another mother, and um, I just wanted to give him a shout out today. Also, I don't know how many of y'all, um, <laughs> well, I'm sure you always, already know about the wretched situation um, with Ron DeSantis. Um, exploiting those migrants that he flew, uh, flew to Martha Vineyard for the sole purpose of placing it um, in front of Kamala Harris's door. Very tacky, very tacky. But let me say this, Mr. DeSantis, you know, <coughs> I got to wait for a few minutes because <clears throat> y'all y'all are really showing y'all butts. And, and, you know, it really shows you just how sad uh, some of these people really are. You know, again, they're not original. You know who you are. You have to listen to the original man. And you need to get a little bit more flavor in your thought process. Because right now, y'all only on one step, destruction. I ain't never seen a group of people that are not happy until they just destroy everything around them. You've done it before. You plagued the water. You brought plagues down. I mean, you've done it before. And now even when your own people try to warn you how crazy some of y'all are. Because ain't nothing we can do as black people. Ain't nothing we can do. We got to live and figure out how to manage how to get away from you crazy. Because you just, at this point, sick. You got a person sitting up there talking about they want to be president again, who rapes women, uh, ooh, apes women, right? The R word, he apes them. And then he grabs them by the deodorant, the tussy deodorant, okay? I mean, and then they're even contemplating if he should run for president again. This reminds me so much of Jim Jones and how... But these were all, a lot of those, a majority of these was black cult members. So I can't ride too hard. Because see, usually black people ride uh, uh, people like that for religious purposes. I ain't never seen nobody, in my culture at least, maybe y'all can point it out to me, that would roll with somebody. Because see, we real hard on you. Ask our Kelly. So now I can't imagine us having a candidate who brags about doing all these things, supremely racist, saying it out loud to everybody because we love the human family. As black people, you know, you must notice that. Even if you're a corrupt white person, that's why you keep doing what you do to us because you feel like we don't fight back, but you really got it twisted. We just ain't got our numbers up yet. That's all. But anyway, let me. I've digressed. What I'm saying is, y'all are so crazy. 
that you actually thought that you was going to get away with sending these people to that that were actually already uh, 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 vetted. And you took them and you sent them somewhere else and you think that's not kidnapping? You actually think that's not kidnapping and you think it was a joke? My thing is, why do y'all jokes got to be so cruel? Why are you, why is your jokes, and I want you to show me, if this is what y'all do, this is reflect the power that you have, if this is what you do, I mean, when I see black people in power, you know, I, I see some corruption, you know, I'm not going to lie, usually it's, um, you know, they're stealing money and things of that nature, uh, doing uh, 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 taking advantage of people. But they certainly not going to get out here and brag about it. Okay? Because there are some things, like I said, it's just human behavior. It, regardless of your color. But we don't have enough power to do nothing like this. So you don't have to worry about us doing anything so crazy. And sending people to different parts of the United States just to advance a financial and a political um I got it I'm gonna, I'm gonna making a video right now okay um you, you don't that's not what you see from most groups I'm not saying it doesn't happen but we got one group of people that really, really loves chaos. And we really need to check them. They need, we need, they need to be checked before it's too late. Okay, so Ron DeSantis will be sued for exploiting the migrants. I don't know how many of y'all agree with that and what do y'all think should happen. I'm curious to know what your feelings are. Not that these people, I, I, you know what? I was noticing why they look so clean. I was like, if those are some uh, people that just, you know, cross the water or do it, they kind of look, they don't, they look kind of rugged. Okay, you can tell somebody that's really, really been in a crisis situation. Usually, they have on dirty clothes, dirty shoes. You know, looking like they just came out of Katrina or something to that effect. But you saw people at Martha's Vineyard with new clothes on. That was the first thing that caught my eye. I was like, damn, they sure are dressed nice. Okay? Now, as we further get into what has happened, now we see that this Ron DeSantis dude took some people that was already been it, was already registered to be here. And ship them out. Now that's a crime. That is kidnapping. It is. And there's no way around it. There is no way around it. Because he's insisting that he didn't do anything that Biden hasn't done already. Dude, that is a lie. Yeah. Oh my God. Um anyway. I want to know what y'all think about that because you know I can go on. Tell me again, I'm shouting out to you, man, giving you a, a belated birthday to all my subs and subscribers and family. I want to thank y'all for being out there with me. Uh, I thank you for supporting the channel. And I am going to see you beautiful people in the next video. Bye-bye.